In this video, I'm going to be covering how you guys can bring 3D models inside of After Effects and add animations to them as well. This is a crazy new update inside of the After Effects beta. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, I highly recommend subscribing. And just before we hop into this, I have to shout out my editing packs. If you guys want to go check them out, they're linked below on my website. Highly recommend going over there and taking a look. There's something there for you. Anyways, let's get right into this. So starting off, you want to open up your Adobe Creative Cloud. And once you're inside of your Creative Cloud, you want to go over to the app section. And then you're probably going to start off in all apps, but you want to come over here at the top and hit beta. And then you want to go ahead and install the After Effects beta right here. Now, once you have that installed, you want to go ahead and hit open and it should open super easily and quick, just like this. We're just going to create a new composition here, 1920 by 1080p, 30 FPS, hit OK. And now we need our 3D object. To grab our 3D object, we're going to be heading over to Sketchfab, which is probably my favorite website to get 3D models. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to search 3D models and we're going to turn on downloadable and animated and we're going to see what comes up here. So we have this Phoenix bird here. That looks super sick there, guys. So what you want to do is you want to go over to download 3D model right here. Click on it and you want to make sure it's a dot GLB file. This is the only way this will work inside of After Effects. So we're going to go ahead and hit download here and we're going to download that onto my computer. All right, I say we just go with the Phoenix bird, guys. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and close this. We're going to drag and drop that GLB inside of After Effects just by dragging and dropping just like so. We're going to drag and drop the bird inside of the comp here. And once we do that, we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to hit make comp size so it shows up inside of it and then OK. Okay, one more time and we have our bird right here, but it's not animated. Now, how do we animate the bird? So you want to go ahead and hit this little arrow down here, go over to animation options and under name and none, you can click on it and there'll be this animation option here. So if you go ahead and click it, we'll have the flying bird just like that. And that works on so many other things, guys. Now, the coolest part about this as well is you can actually go inside of here and keyframe the position and the scale. So let's make him bigger and bring him over here. And let's have them fly across the screen here. So just by dragging them, you can have them going across. That looks really cool there, guys. And the coolest part about this 3D is you have the entire X, Y, and Z space. So if you wanted to reset it, you could even have it in the way of he's flying towards you. So if we just mess with the Z rotation and then mess with the orientation here and then mess with the last scale here and get something like this which is so sick, guys. And yeah, that was a super quick and simple tutorial on how you guys can add 3D with animations inside of the brand new After Effects beta. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and go check out my editing packs as well as I guarantee there is something there for you guys to help level up your visuals. Go check out this video right here. I'll see you there. Peace.